a leader racked with paranoia. Top officials and military leaders disappearing. What on earth is going on inside China? Welcome to China Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. You guys, I am so happy. Never before have people been so into political infighting in the Chinese Communist Party. It certainly helped that the former leader, Hu Jintao, was so publicly and unceremoniously hauled away at a major meeting of the Communist Party last year. And as I said, this does my heart good. I've been covering this kind of thing for 11 years. When I started the show, there was a coup attempt against Xi Jinping. And that got started when one of those officials, a guy named Bo Xi Lai, his right-hand man fled to a U.S. consulate in the middle of the night, dressed like a woman, to try and spill dirt on him and get asylum. His name was Wang Li Jun, and the U.S. did not grant him asylum. They turned him over and he got 15 years. Since then, Xi Jinping launched a systematic campaign of terror, targeting all his political opponents. He disguised it as an anti-corruption campaign. Since it started, five million Communist Party members have been probed. And considering this is a regime that performed cavity searches on 10,000 pigeons, they're serious about their probes. Yes, I truly love covering China. But over the past few months, there's been three major purges that have gotten a lot of people talking. The first was the ousting of China's former foreign minister over an alleged affair. That guy's name was Qin Gan. That was followed shortly by several purges in China's rocket force, which controls China's nukes. Now, Chinese military personnel are being warned against socializing with the wrong people. And just this month, China's defense minister Li Shangfu suddenly went missing, and the rumor mill is churning. But. A lot of the coverage is missing the most important point. I'll tell you what it is right after this quick commercial break. Welcome back. So if we're going to talk about the recent purges and what they really mean for Xi Jinping, we got to launch an episode of the people's favorite communist soap opera, General Hostility. Previously on General Hostility. Xi Jinping has spent a decade in power, purging his political opponents tied to now-deceased former party head Jiang Zemin and promoting his own allies. Xi reorganized the party and state institutions, granting himself almost unlimited power. But something has changed in a recent wave of purges, and it could spell the end of Xi Jinping and the Chinese Communist Party. So what is so different about these latest purges? Well, first we got to cover all the rumors that have been flying about them. Rumors are a tricky thing when it comes to the inner workings of the Chinese Communist Party. Sometimes they prove true. Like when Xi purged Zhou Yangkang, China's security czar. He was one of those officials who tried to overthrow Xi. There were rumors Xi was going after him months before there was any official investigation. But other times, rumors are wildly inaccurate. Like the idea that China's former premier Li Keqiang was out to get Xi. That was even picked up by prominent Western media. But nothing ever came of it. And not that I'm keeping track or anything, but China Uncensored was right about Zhou Yang Kong and didn't fall for the Li Keqiang rumors. But all the rumors of the apparent purge of Qin Gan, Li Shang Fu, and the Rocket Force leadership are seemingly accurate. I won't go into all the specifics of the Chinese language rumors I've been seeing because your eyes will glaze over if I do. But here's what's key and why these purges are so different. Before, Xi had taken out his political rivals, but these recent purges were all of his close, trusted allies. Qing Gan became one of the country's youngest foreign ministers, enjoying a meteoric rise to the top that analysts partly attributed to his closeness to Xi. Xi Jinping personally created the rocket force and assigned his people to it. Defense Minister Li Shangfu was likewise promoted to the position despite being sanctioned by the U.S. government in 2018 for his involvement with Chinese purchases of advanced fighter jets from Russia. So where are these apparently accurate rumors coming from and why is Xi purging his allies? One possible origin of the rumors are the remnants of the Jiang Zemin faction, led by his right-hand man Zheng Qinghong, who is leaking these rumors to discredit Xi. Another possibility is leaks are happening from disgruntled CCP officials who are unhappy with Xi. They have plenty of reasons to be disgruntled with him. But so why are the purges happening? 
we do have a clue from the rumors of what happened to Qin Gan, an alleged affair that somehow involved national security violations, according to people familiar with the matter. I mentioned in a previous episode that Sino Insider, a risk consultancy that specializes in elite Chinese politics, suspects Xi's remaining political enemies could be exploiting the Xi leadership's prioritization of national security matters to manipulate the PRC leader into taking out his own allies and ultimately undermining his own interests. And their apparent success at that could have dire consequences for Xi. His rivals could use national security to entrap other Xi allies, even his family members, and that severely undermines Xi's position. After more than 10 years in power, Xi does not have much to show for it. Zero Covid was a disaster. His promise to eliminate poverty was a disaster. The only thing you could remotely say was successful and not just pure propaganda has been his anti-corruption campaign. And if that falls apart because the people closest to him were corrupt, then how does she really justify party officials entrusting leadership to him? As Sino Insider says, unless she is utterly delusional, he is almost certainly aware of the hugely damaging and highly consequential implications of taking out several high-ranking members of his own camp under the guise of rooting out corruption. So if he is being pressured by his enemies into taking out his own allies, how might she respond? Well, there's been this unwritten rule that she will not target the princelings and CCP elders. Those are basically the untouchable elite of the party, people like Zheng Ching Hong. Even though Zheng is Xi's enemy, it's in Xi's interest not to target him or people like him, because it would undermine the legitimacy of the Communist Party itself, of which Xi is the head. This is basically his nuclear option blow up the entire Chinese Communist Party, which he would only do if that was the only option that would save his skin. So you want to know how general hostility ends? Then we need your support. China Uncensored only exists because of funding from fans like you, who contribute as little as a dollar an episode on patreon.com slash China Uncensored. I call them the China Uncensored 50 Cent Army. And as a thank you, I answer their questions at the end of episodes. Today's question comes from... Tony Chapkowski, and all the crazies in their military who are frustrated they are not the toughest of the tough, will they break out? That's an excellent question, Tony. There is definitely growing resentment towards Xi, in all levels of the party and the military. In fact, one of the reasons I've analyzed that China won't go to war soon is that it would require Xi Jinping to appoint someone as chief of a joint command of all the party's military branches. Whoever that person would be, he would become the most powerful man in China and could stage a coup against Xi. This is one of the reasons Xi spent so much time overhauling the military and purging top generals. This article is from 2017. Xi has already spent a load of time making sure his people were in positions of power within the military. That's again why these most recent purges are strange. He's purging his own allies. But this kind of thing happens in communist systems, which you can learn a lot more about in this video from our other channel, Gamers Unbeaten, how the indie game Cult of the Lamb explains authoritarian communism. Thanks for your question, Tony. And if you want to join Tony in the 50 Cent Army, click that orange button. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.